Hello viewers, so today we'll see the basic intro and the basic learning we'll do for Kafka and Kafka streams. I have made previous videos in which I have given an example live uh, coding example with Java, Spring Boot and Kafka. But this video is related to theory part of Kafka and uh, Kafka streams. So many, many times people are confused about Kafka and Kafka streams. So that's why this video will help you to clarify that. So in typical Kafka uh, looks like this where we have multiple producer and multiple consumer and using Kafka you can write to databases as well and uh, Kafka can be uh, integrated with different microservices you can use uh, it with web uh, event driven architecture you can use it so Kafka is a distributed streaming platform so publish and subscribe to a stream of records similar to a message queue or enterprise messaging system it stores a stream of records in a fault tolerant and durable way. It processes a stream of records as they occur. Kafka used for these broad classes of applications, which includes building real-time streaming data pipelines that reliably get data between systems or applications, building real-time streaming applications that transform or react to the stream of data. Kafka is run as a cluster on one or more servers that can span multiple data centers. The Kafka cl cluster stores streams of records in a categories called topics. Topic is very important. Each record consists of a key and a value and a timestamp. So a typical Kafka ecosystem looks like this where we have a producer on one side and the consumer on the other side. Producer produces the message which, is do which doesn't go directly to the consumer, it go to the broker. In this diagram we are using Jukeeper as the broker which manages all the Kafka clusters. So producer, as we know, a producer pushes the data to the broker. When the new broker is started, producer search it and automatically sends a message to that new broker. Kafka producer does not wait for acknowledgement from the broker and sends message as fast as the broker can handle. What is consumer in Kafka? So since Kafka brokers are stateless, which means that the consumer has to maintain how many messages have been consumed by using partition offset if the consumer acknowledge a particular message of state it implies that the consumer has consumed all the prior messages. the consumer issues an asynchronous pull request to the broker to have a buffer of bytes ready to consume the consumers can rewind or skip to any point in a part partition simply by supplying an offset value consumer offset value is notified by jukeeper what is broker kafka cluster typically consists of multiple brokers to maintain load balance Kafka brokers are stateless, so they use Jukeeper for maintaining their cluster state. One Kafka broker instance can handle hundreds of thousands of reads and write requests per second. A terabytes of messages can be uh, handled with the with Kafka with very easy. Kafka broker leader election can be done by the Jukeeper. So Kafka is a scalable, community and distributed event streaming platform and public subscribe messaging system. Kafka is used to develop distributed application and facilitate web scale internet bu businesses like Twitter, LinkedIn, etc. Kaf what is Kafka stream? So this is where the confusion starts. So give uh, read this very carefully. So Kafka stream is an API for writing client applications that transform data in Apache Kafka. You usually do this by publishing the transformed data onto a new topic. The data processing itself happens when your client applications not on a Kafka broker. Kafka stream is another project from the Apache Kafka community itself. It is basically a Java API for processing and transforming data inside Kafka topics. So this is a API based where, which is used for processing the data inside Kafka topic. Kafka streams or the stream API makes it easier to transform or filter data from Kafka topics and publish it to another Kafka topic. Although you can use streams for sending events to external system if you wish, but for doing that you might find it easier to use Kafka Connect which we'll look at later. You can think of Kafka streams as Java based toolkit that lets you change and modify messages in Kafka in real time before the message reached your external consumer. So you can see in this diagram Kafka streams used to write to the Kafka topic and modify the Kafka topic and then and so basically it's API driven processing. Kafka stream greatly simplifies the stream processing from topics. So Kafka client libraries it provides data part 
parallelism, distributed coordination, fault tolerance, and scalability. It deals with message as an unbound, continuous, and real-time flow of records with the following characteristics. So real-time flow is the important thing here in case of Kafka stream. Single Kafka stream to consume produce it perform complex processing. Do not support batch processing. Support stateless and stateful operation. Write an application requires few lines of code in case of Kafka streams. Thread it supports threading and parallelism. It interacts only with the single Kafka cluster. Stream partitions and task as logical unit for storing and transporting messages. Kafka streams uses the concept of partitions and task and unit strongly linked to the topic partitions. Besides, it uses threads to parallelize processing within an application instance. Another important capability supports is the state store, which is used by Kafka stream to store and query data coming from the topic. Finally, Kafka streams API interact with the cluster, but it does not run directly on top of it. If you need to include Kafka in your uh, MavenWest project, so this is uh, Kafka streams uh, artifact ID you can give, and the group ID will be org.apache.kafka. So thank you so much for watching today's video, and if you think the videos are helpful, do like the video and subscribe to the channel.